Dean. Are you ready? Let's do this. The village of Marywine is preparing for its greatest invasion since the Norman Conquest, as this is the prime location to watch the solar eclipse in two days' time. Thousands are expected to join the community, and Marywine Hall is booked to capacity. However, not all residents are happy with the number of so-called UFO nuts who have joined the community. Mrs Brandy Mantle of Portsmouth Road claims that her prized chihuahua has choked on dangerous balloon debris and has called for these drunken revelers to be removed from the country. Perhaps your issue is one of intolerance rather than threat from aliens. Hugh Chadwick, Mary Wine News, back to the studio.
Oh. Hey, Andy. Come on, turn it off now, mate. School in the morning, okay? Oh, Dad! I'm in the middle of a game, can I just finish? Andy, turn it off now. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'll give you whatever. Anyway, see you in the morning, mate, okay? Love you. Now, mate. Daddy, don't forget to take his cuddles. Oh, silly me, how can I forget to take his cuddles? Oh, cuddles, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, cuddles. <laughs> Dad? Yeah? I wish Mama was still here. <sighs> we both do. We both wish she was still here. But, and I'll tell you what. How about tomorrow, me and you play with those toys we got from the cab boot sale? How does that sound? Yay! Yay! Okay. Right, come on, I've got to go now. You need to get some sleep. <laughs> night night. Hey, Dad. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> you stop having those dreams. Right. Here I am again. Oh, I'm never going to get to bed at this rate. Right, what have we said about dreams before? Dreams are just that. They're just dreams. They're not real. Okay? Besides, what's that up there? Dream catcher. Yeah. And who bought you that? No. And why did she buy that? To keep the bad dreams away. Okay? And you know what? Besides all that, Daddy's here. And Daddy will never, ever let anything happen to you. And Daddy will always be here for you. Okay? I promise. Yeah? Look forward to tomorrow. We've got some toys to play with. <laughs> right, okay, so Nanite, Ruby, Nanite, Mr. Cuddles. <laughs> Get some sleep. Nanite, sweetheart. Hey, Ruby. Do you reckon this will suit me? Oh. Nanite, sweetheart. <laughs> excitement this event has stirred up so far. I know for a fact that I, for one, will be right there, sun goggly thingies on, and staring straight up at that bad boy. Well, you go right ahead and do that. I'll just substitute the eye goggles for a glass of the good stuff. Now, why does that not surprise me, Susie? <sighs> hey, I might even join you at some point there. Do you know, I was gonna say something so dumb just then. I'm not gonna say <laughs> it. Oh, no, no, why no, did you no, have to no, go? No, you can't do that to me. I was literally gonna ask why? if the sun was gonna be out that day. Wow, John. Wow. And this is exactly the only answer I want. Oh, Why? Kids miss you. Classic Ken. I miss you. <laughs> call this segment that classic Ken hour. <laughs> we all miss you very much. Uh, anyways, back over to Sally now for coincidentally the weather. Sally, over to you. We're having fun there, my darling husband. 
You must be shattered there with all that sitting down. Oh, I am truly exhausted, oh beautiful wife of mine. But I have to rest because I have to prepare this beautifully chiselled temple of mine. Of course, in preparation for our lovely meal tonight, our anniversary meal, which I am sure will be both lovely and fairly priced. Seriously, I have no idea how I brought with you. Well, I know why. It's because I'm treating you to KFC tonight. Oh, it's a good job I love you, Dean Hamilton. A very good job. And I'm blessed that you love me. Because I love you too. I wouldn't change you one bit for the entire world, Mrs. Sarah Hamilton. I wouldn't change you for the world. Kids, come on, school. I'll make you breakfast. Okay. What are they doing?
stupid. Where the hell could they possibly be? They clearly haven't left early for school because all of their school stuff is still here. I wish I hadn't drunk as much as I did last night. What have I done? I need to find them. Better take my phone, just in case they somehow try to call me. Actually, I'm not leaving the house just yet. Not without some kind of clue as to where they might have gone. What's that on you? Let's have a look. What's that on you? Oh my god, Dean! <laughs> will you stop filming everything? <laughs> there she is, Locke. This is what she looks like first thing. Oh, first Dean! First thing on the morning. No! I'm in my pyjamas! <laughs> so what are your plans today, sweetheart? Being lazy, is that alright? <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. I think so too. Where are the kids? They're in the den. Again? Yeah. I love that place! Well, it's nice and peaceful here, so... No, so you're not complaining? Well, apart from you. <laughs> I might go join them in the den. What if Ruby and Andy have gone to play in their den before school? They seem to love that place. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 Ah! Oh, nice. Bigfoot! That looks got Bigfoot? Why did he call me Bigfoot? Oh, I just like the way it sounds. Uh, well, you know what they say about men with big feet. Uh, not in front of the children. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas! Love you all. We love you too! Ah, uh, she's here is Ruby Look with her mismatching pyjamas as usual. Dad? Yeah? She loved Dad. Oh, charming. <laughs> Mum, mm -hmm. can we play with some toys tomorrow? Well, we've got to go and do some gardening tomorrow. I can It'd be totally out of character for Andy and Ruby to have gone to play in their den before school. But I'm getting concerned, and having a quick look around seems like my only option at the moment. I feel sick. Wait, 
What if they come home while I'm out? But then again, what if they are playing in their den? What should I do? Hi. I want to change, good you mate. Yeah, sure. Um. Yeah. <coughs> You're a star, bud. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do you have happened to have seen two children around here? No. <coughs> No, sorry, mate. I haven't seen him. Okay. You take care now. Bye bye. Have a good day, my friend. God, I'm making the right choice here. I am really sorry, but have you seen two children? Have you seen two yeah, children? No, sorry, sorry, I don't know. Oh! I don't know what I'm expecting here. It'd make no sense whatsoever for them to walk this far from home before school. My heart's pounding that much. It hurts. Den. Please, please be in here.
Rube! Ande! Andy! Ruby! <laughs> Who's there? Ruby! Andy! Who are you? What do you know? Please, but please come down. Let me explain. Where are they? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. What do you know? Where are my kids? Please, uh, please come down. Let me explain. Where I'm sorry. are my kids? I, I don't know. Where are they? Where are you going? What do you know? <laughs> there she is, Locke. This is what she looks like first thing. Oh, dear. First dang. thing on the morning. No, I'm in my jammers. <laughs> Dad. Yeah? Yes, Mama looks like you. We're still having those dreams. Daddy will always be here for you, and Daddy will always look after you. Promise. <laughs> Ruby! Andy! Shocking news from the local village of Merrywine as Mr. Hamilton's children, Andrew and Ruby, have disappeared. I've looked everywhere. Where are my kids? Who are you? Alex. So why? This Alex. Can you trust her? I don't know who I can trust. I'm me. Nothing special. I just know a lot more than most people because I open my eyes. I just can't think of the reason that Ruby and Anna have gone there. Something doesn't seem right. You have to be careful with who you trust. Dean Hamilton. Did you have anything to do with the disappearance of Ruby and Andrew Hamilton? I didn't and wouldn't do anything to my children. Well, that's what I'm going to find out. So, I wish we were here now, you know. I'm at a loss. Every time you think you made an advance, I've punished you for it. Alien beings aren't a real thing. It's a combination of past memories and your child's mind filling in the gaps with make-believe. What did the police say? They can't do anything for 24 hours. That's when it becomes a missing persons case, Julian. The missing persons case? These are my kids. Alex, you will not believe what I've just found. Come on.